Hey, people, Zar Thwomp here, and welcome to episode two of Ape Escape. Last time, we started our adventure. We ran to the professor's lab, only to find that he and Natalie, his assistant, were held hostage by Spectre, this monkey from the zoo, who basically got his hands on some advanced helmet. It made him smart. He mass-produced it, put it on the heads of random monkeys, made them his army. He's coming to a time machine, and now we have to go through the time periods and stop him. We've learned the tutorials. We got the monkey radar. We met Spectre. Now let's get going. But anyways, back to what I was saying in the last episode, though. <laughs> just spec. Yeah, basically, just the way the professor was like, "You're that monkey at the zoo. I don't respect you." <laughs> All you did was jerk off in your little enclosure. Yeah, because they did, because they couldn't find a monkey girl. You ever notice why all the monkeys in my army are male? That's because there are no monkey females. How am I supposed to get, get action if there's no action to be gotten? Anyways, next level. I think this one's gonna give us. No, it's not. Oh no no no! This is a different level. This is a level that I'm not too fond of. I mean, it's an okay level, but. Uh, yeah, this level's okay, but just I'm not a big fan of it, particularly because of one monkey that will be coming back for later. Anyways, we got these little guys that look like Mallow. Go to the mines! Basically, I think this will explain just how to use bar. Okay, no, this is just telling you about monkey strengths. We're basically just, to be honest, monkey levels really aren't that pivotal. We're basically just, it's not gonna end your day if you don't know, oh, this is a level three monkey. Basically, the main thing that monkey levels will do is just tell you, hey, just this monkey may prove to be a little more difficult. And that guy's dead. Okay, yeah, that guy is just, that's a, that's a gun monkey, as you can see. I thought I, okay, I thought we were missing something. Okay, but anyways. Nope, nope, okay. Yeah, we'll just grab this. It's an easy one. Okay, got to turn on the timer. Okay, so anyways, let's just find, let's go. Okay, I think this may be the introduction of blue pants monkeys. Yeah, basically monkeys with bright blue pants, with dark blue pants. These guys are fast. They are speedy, and well, we're going to need another gadget if we're going to want to effectively capture them. Don't be afraid to use the sun club on them. Because we're actually encountering them before we get the gadget that will help us catch them. In Ape Escape 2, and as well as Ape Escape 3, they give you the gadget right when you first encounter them. So basically, you don't really have to worry about just losing track. So you don't really have to worry about just manually hitting them like we're doing now. But yeah, just blue monkeys can be a bit irritating. And they're arguably some of the more irritating monkeys to get. Because the other monkeys, you can at least stand your ground against them. And you can grab them. Anyways, blue mailboxes. These tend to be more review and or set and or basically just background details. Looks like there's a block inside the ruins that you can't push out that you can push out of your way. Try pushing a block that looks out of place. So basically, what they're saying right here, there is actually um, there is there are monkeys down there. However, basically, we need to find a block. We need to take that block that's up there. We need to basically push it down. And then from there, we can just move on with the level. So basically, if you see a block with a hand symbol on it, that means that you can push on it. Okay, so anyways, just want to check around. Okay. Just go, okay, let's go in here. Yeah, one thing about the Ape Escape series, it had, it, all the entries in the, in the series just have great music, just really, just very calm background music. Okay, these guys. Just, you want to just spin around because they will just split off into a bunch of little enemies and just hit them, smack them, and you're good to go. Okay, we're almost at our first extra life. Okay. Yeah, let's grab you. Come on. Okay, monkey with a gun. We shall not lose to monkey with a gun. Anyways, up here. This is a slippery path. We cannot do anything with it. As much as we want to, we can't run up it. Not yet. So anyways, just time your time your approach. You can't actually do anything with this. Unfortunately, this is one reason why I'm also reluctant, because that one monkey we can't get. We need to actually come back for him later. Okay. 
Actually, no, we don't have to wait for the end game gadget to get him. We can actually just wait until we get the gadget that's associated with just catching the speedy monkeys. So anyways, extra life. Okay, and now we can just push this block down. And there is fall damage, so be careful. This game isn't going to be so kind if you fall from a high height. Granted, there aren't too many situations where fall damage is going to apply. So you don't have to worry about it too much. Okay. Oh, no, you don't. Yeah, but as I said earlier, just... Enemies are very kind when it comes to dropping cookies. Basically, just in later Ape Escape games, just it's rare if you have an enemy dropping cookies, but just... You know, in this game, just cookies are just like cookies. You find them very easily. Yeah, I love how Spectre basically, one of his goals, he goes back in time, he's like, I'm gonna plaster my face over everything. Okay, anyways. Yeah, we're actually gonna have to utilize our crawl mechanic. Okay. The monkey will turn on, his, on the path they see you. The wind is so strong, it'll blow you away. You'll be hard to find if you crawl forward while pressing the left stick in. While crawling, you can pretend you're not there by pressing the right stick. You'll be nearly invisible. Basically, push you push both sticks in. Pretending you're not there is, a more, is more, way more efficient than just crawling. Yeah, so basically, there are three stages to monkey helmets. Blue means that the monkey's in basically an idle, f is basically just idly going about its business. Yellow means that it's cautious and on to you. And then basically red means the monkey saw you and basically is on the attack. Oh, no, you don't. No, curse you! Okay. Let's get away. Can't curse these enemies. We'll come back for that monkey later. Yeah, there are plenty of other monkeys that we can go for, and just that guy is not worth it. That is not worth it. We're going to want another gadget at the very least before we even think about getting that monkey. Yeah, thankfully, there are plenty of other monkeys that we can get our hands on. Okay, though, speaking of things that we can get our hands on, let's get that Spectre coin. Okay, let's just be cautious. I'm a little nervous just going on these narrow ledges. Just because if there's one thing that the Ape Escape series just has a bit of a shortcoming with, it's just narrow ledges like this. Just this game is at its best. This series is at its best when you're basically in wide open areas. Okay, Spectre Coin. Surprising that we haven't really been getting our hands on more of them. Okay, so anyways, for the time being, let's just get out of here. We'll come back for that guy later when we can actually take out enemies at a range. Thankfully, we'll be getting a weapon very soon that will allow us to do just that. It'll be a godsend. Okay, just two more monkeys to go. Okay. Yeah, let's just climb up here. Yeah, basically, the, the climbing controls are very similar to Mar that of the Mario series, where basically you actually jump with your back out. Okay, grab that. How many Spectre Coins are here? Okay, status. Okay, two out of four. Okay. Let's head on down. And we'll have to get out the long way. So we had another gadget, basically. We'd be able to just get out of here relatively quickly. So anyways, let's get going. Yeah, that's why I'm not a big fan of this area. Because this area d does have a bit of a weird difficulty spike. And that just, a good chunk of the levels after this one are relatively straightforward. And then you get this one where it's just constant, where it clobbers you. Okay. 
Let's smash you. Okay, thank you. Yeah, look at that. We pretty much got back to full cookies. Just blink of an eye. Okay, so anyways. Yeah, our next one is right over here. So basically the game's like, oh, you don't want to go. Okay, let's just see what they have to say. There's danger ahead. This area is difficult for beginners. Don't go further unless you've had experience exploring similar areas. Basically, the game's like, don't jump, you mother effer. Though if you played Ape Escape 2 and 3, just you can easily get you can easily traverse this area. Watch I fall. I shame my Ape Escape 2 and Ape Escape 3 background. I'm shaming my background. Well now he's dead. Okay. Okay, another one down. Okay. And let's go here. Okay, we're not going to be encountering the one that I don't like. We're going to be safe from that one. Well, let's just go and try to grab some more coins. Just because we are going to want lives. We are really going to want lives because if I get game over, chances are, well, the playthrough's over. This is essentially like a nuzlocke of sorts. Anyways. Press the red button, dum-dum! Actually hit the button, you moron! So anyways, let's go over here. Yeah, I think that we actually we don't have to actually go in the ruins. And we can just head back out here, and then get that gun monkey. Yeah, we only have one to go. Okay. So anyways, just be cautious. Gotcha. And there we are. Yes. Okay, we'll come back to this area once we have some more gadgets. Once we can actually just effectively traverse. Once again, just Natalie, just casual. Good job. You did great. Yeah, just casual Natalie. She's just not into it. We do not impress Natalie. Okay, what's our coin total? Okay, just four. Okay, next level. Cryptic Relics. Okay, I think this is the one where we're gonna get the long-range weapon in this game. Look yep, here it is! A new gadget. Check it out. Is the slingback shooter? Just pull back and shoot. I'm sending the new gadget over to you right now. Try it out in the training room. Without training, it will be too dangerous for you to continue on to the next area. Well, good luck and be careful. So basically, the slingback shooter—it's amazing in this game. Just Let's go. granted, the slingback shooter does always have its use in in all the, the games in the Apescape series, but basically. But in this game in particular, this thing is a godsend. Because basically, just so many enemies just you are better off being taken down at range. So basically, as you see, we have three different ammo types. We have plain ammo, which basically it does about half the damage of a stun club hits. But you can do it at, but yeah, you have unlimited amounts, and you can use it at a range. If you press the R3 button, you can basically get explosive pellets, which basically these have the damage of a stun club hits. And then you get spread ammo, which basic homing ammo, which basically seeks in and basically just well, it hits a, it hits opponents that are moving. So, anyways, if you press the L2 button, you can actually zoom in, and you can basically get first person. In later entries in the series, basically Ape Escape two and three, you you automatically go into this view once you pull up the slingback shear because it is at its most useful. So yeah, basically, if you try to use it by default, it's going to be like, oh hey, you can fire off just third person view. We're not going to use the different ammo types just because we want to save them. Because these things aren't exactly common, and they will come in handy, especially the explosive ammo. Which I will be using just, which I will be using, but just very sparingly. Because it is really useful. Okay, so anyways, as usual, it's like, you can assign a gadget! Did you know you can use the gadget screen, dum-dum? 
Okay, five monkeys, one Spectre coin. Okay, so anyways, we got ruins, we got the moon. Let's go. The moon, the moon, the moon is out. If you press the select button, you actually do get a shortcut to just the gadget screen. So you don't even have to go into the start menu. So anyways, let's just go over here. I am not really using the monkey radar, funnily enough. This is what happens when I don't use it. So anyways, monkey over there. Let's go. Let's go and let's grab. Okay. Yeah, but still, the slingback shooter is one of those gadgets that definitely does make your life way easier. Because now we don't have to just go guns ablaze. Because in this game, the stun club can feel a little bit unreliable at times. Sure, it gets the job done, but it feels like you gotta get really close to the enemy to use it. Okay, anyways, over here, we have a switch. We have basically a ground switch. You have to actually hold these things down in order to actually do stuff with it. So, let's go capture you. And head on out. Okay, anyways, I know where the coin is in this level, so we'll go and grab it. We can actually grab it on the first time, and we, it will be on our way to basically getting the monkeys. So it's not like we're going to have to go out of our way for it. So anyways, let's just go. Go and capture. Okay. And behold, our first use of the slingback shooter. Isn't it glorious? And he dropped some ammo. Okay. Let's do that. Okay. Lamenting his lost love. Okay. Basil. Yeah, I just... This... Get, okay, he's right above us. Anyways, yeah, we're going to want to get out of our monkey radar. Yeah, he's right up there. Yeah, can kind of throw you off. Use your slingback shooter, you mother effer! Spike, this is why you're a test subject, and nothing more. And goodbye. Okay, so basically, even though the slingback shooter does have plenty of uses... Okay... Even though the Slings Factor does have plenty of uses, the Stun Club will still be your primary form of offense because, well, close range. Okay, yeah, these guys, you can't exactly hurt them while they're in their current state. You have to wait for them to stop spinning. Okay, wait for them to get out, and then boom. Thankfully, they're kind enough to give us that. Okay, let's go in here. Okay, no. Smack these Mario-esque spiders. Yeah, we could take them out from the ceiling, but why would we? I mean, they're not exactly the biggest threat. Okay. Yeah, for a second I thought that this was going to have to be a repeat area. Okay, capture you. Yeah, as you can see, like I said, just the stun club is not all that pivotal when it comes to having to knock monkeys down because a good chunk of them just will be stationary long enough for you to actually just attack them with the initial net swing. Okay, got that done. And uh, this song's making me paranoid. It's like Spider Case from Jack, Wa Jack and Dexter 1, where basically it sounds like a cell phone is ringing. Okay, anyways, we can't do much there. Yeah, we can't knock this down. I think they'll actually mention this. Okay, but yet they can fire through the, the grate. Speed the, ca speed the camera down with the uh, L1 button. Once you learn the L1 back camera, you'll like it. Just Natalie, just, she's like, you'll like it. You will like the camera. You will use the L1 camera. You will use the camera. You, I want to use the D-pad camera. You'll like the L1 camera. You mother effer, you will love it. It will be your life. 
You will learn to love this camera like your own child. There we are. Okay, nope. Okay. Anyways. Yeah, we got an, we got an explosive pellets. Okay, the coin is actually going to be within this general area. Okay, yeah, we're actually going to need to get into the other room in order to grab it. Okay. there and let's grab you oh no you don't oh, come on and let's just go over here okay I just want we could get the coin I mean I got it on my when I first tried playing this game okay Boom. Okay, plenty of ammo. All right, all right. Yeah, we just got to swim through here. Yeah, I think there'll be a monkey in this room. Okay. Let's get up. Okay, grab you. Grab that. Ow. Yeah, there we are. Good. Just get the get us the ammo, the good ammo. What are your comments? As you clear the stages, go to the save area in the time station to save your place. Or after running around for an hour or two, don't forget to save and take a break. Don't overdo it and hurt yourself. <laughs> if you play for more than two hours, I will kill you, Spike. I will find you and I will end your life. Don't think I won't, Spike. I will end your sad, pathetic life. Okay, so anyways. Yeah, yeah, now I think about it, we do have to actually go back and get this. But don't worry, we'll be back later. And we'll just go on a massive coin collecting spree. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, though I can't but feel a little paranoid, you know? Okay. All right, now I'm remembering, now I'm remembering. Because basically that other area, there will be a way back into this and we can basically go in from the back. Okay. Okay. Mystery solved. Okay, yep, right over here. Okay, jump up here. And coin. We're all good there. So let's grab that last monkey and get out of here. Okay. Okay, nothing over there. Okay, nothing except that. Don't fall off the ledge. That's not a good thing. Okay, let's just take you down. Oh yeah, way to taunt this game with giving us good ammo. I don't want me taunted with good ammo. The good ammo is good. Okay. And an extra life. Okay. Yeah, we're borderline getting another one, so that's good. And there we are. Yes. Okay, after completing this level, I think this is the level that we're going to get it. We're going to be challenged by Jake to a race. Okay, just give us the standard. You, did great. you could have done better, Spike. Should have used that L1 camera. Welcome to my game, Aden! I've been waiting for this for a long time. 
This is just between you and me. Follow me. Beta versus Sigma. I have been red pill. Look at my eyes. I have been plugged into the into the server. I have been my my eyes have been open, Spike. I'm going for it. Okay, let's go. Anyways, in this race, I didn't know that you could actually do that. Didn't know you actually had turbo rings. So anyways, just don't be afraid to cut corners. What the heck? Spectre making his minions a ninja. This is what working for Spectre does for you. It turns you into a ninja. Once you get plugged into the, once you get out of the matrix, you can just do all sorts of things. Okay, anyways, let's go, 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 go. Yeah, this is actually one of the more challenging races in my personal opinion. Just because you have to, because you have to actually stop in order to use the, to rise up from the water net. Oh crap, no. No, no. No. Okay, we're good, we're good, we won. Yes. Phew. That's what happens when you take the red pill. You gain super jumping power. Seriously, just look how Jake was just clearing those platforms like they were nothing. And look how good. Uh, look, I'll go up against yeah. you anytime you want. And look how good a sport Jake is. He actually gives us five Spectre coins. Yeah, as for the mini games, though, I'll show them off once we get all four. Once we get the forty coins we need. But anyways, on that note, I think that now would be a good time to end things off. I really appreciate that you stuck around to watch this episode. You're a great viewer, and I hope you come back for the next one. Like this video, like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever you want. Without seeing you next time, bye.